roof was hit with a ransomware attack, which shut them down for a few days. Tonight, WDHN's Brantley Weatherford joins us live in the studio. Brantley, what precautions are being taken to avoid this from ever happening again? Well, Mike, first, a ransomware attack is when criminals use malware to publish a victim's personal data or block access to it unless a ransom is paid. So Wiregrass Electric has a segmented system in place to prevent this from happening in the future. During 4th of July weekend, Wiregrass Electric Cooperative was attacked by ransomware, which shut down most of the company's operations. Wiregrass Electric CEO Les Moreland says the attack isn't what shut down their systems, it was the company's decision. Your best strategy is to shut everything down and assess what's going on. If you leave the systems up, there is a risk that the malware could move from one system to another. Moreland says that attacks aren't stopping anytime soon. According to him, in the past year, attacks have gone up 300 percent and it's expected to go up exponentially. So what is being done to slow and or stop these attacks? We started about uh, six or eight years ago doing regular cybersecurity audits and the professionals come and try to attack your system and to identify vulnerabilities. Wiregrass Electric also segments their system so that one attack won't knock out every system. The 4th of July attack only hit one server out of 40. As long as the network is segmented and as long as you detect it early and shut things down, the damages are limited to, to almost nothing. Moreland said the July 4th attack was unsuccessful and was just a minor inconvenience due to them having uh, systems shut down. All right, Brantley, thanks so much for that report. Well, friends, this morning, if you were heading to downtown Dothan and got into a huge traffic jam, there's a good reason. The Houston County Sheriff's Office responded to a bomb threat at